Hi everyone! This is the continuation of my UMAX playthrough of Pagodia and I have now reached the halfway point of this world and today's entry is map 5 which is called Spaghetti Complex. This map was made by T. Will. So you start by teleporting in this leakage area and you don't really want to stay here uh, as you will get caught in an Arachnotron crossfire. Instead, run inside this building and get the green armor and the soup shotgun. There are lots of hit scanners in this map and they can easily chip down your health and you need to be aware of that. I like to kill these chain gunners right away and also do some additional cleanup of the main floor uh, and only then proceed. Ok, let's proceed now. And I get blocked when dropping down because zombie man woke up. Here he is. Um, and this fight is pretty clever. Uh, you can stay in one place because you are going to catch uh, revenant rockets and at the same time you need to quickly kill the hit scan. But when the hit scan is dead, uh, dealing with the revenants won't be a problem. Shot this panel by accident, so the counter lowered, and it's the first secret. There is a berserk in the vending machine, but I don't need it now. And behind this wall, there's a pretty cool ray picture. Uh, let's kill the sims first, so they don't interrupt us. Yeah, uh, pretty cool. I also like how you can see that uh, it's in the water, actually. Okay, so we now get a rocket launcher and can raise a bridge to get to those arachnotrons from the beginning. Across the bridge there are some revenants and they are pretty awkward to shoot, uh, so I prefer to raise the stairs for them so they can get closer. And to do that you need to press the switch uh, where the arachnid trunks were. Get some plasma now, and also the yellow key is already available. But I want to get some ammo and health pickups first. So, grabbing the yellow key spawns quite a few enemies, and also when you make a sound, two green cybers spawn. So, before I shoot, I like to run to this area where green cybers can get me, and I can deal with revenants and cacos. What I don't like to do is to face rocket myself, but I did it anyway. I think I saved it berserk though. So 
So yeah, here is that vending machine berserk. Pretty helpful. Oh yeah, and two pain elementals also spawned in. Now I want to clean up everything in the outdoors area. And the two remaining green sabers are really awkward to kill because you don't have much space to move when you fight them because one of them is inside uh, and the other one is in the nukage area. And yeah, wasting all the cells on the first green cyber was not ideal to say the least. Now I have to fight the second one with a soup shotgun only. And I almost died to the splash damage. Also the second secret opens after you kill these two cybers. It's a backpack, which is pretty weird. Imagine running this map on Nightmare for 100% secrets might be <laughs> pretty interesting. I actually tried this map on Nightmare and it becomes really difficult. Two remaining enemies are the Archwiles in the exit room. And I also learned the hard way that they can resurrect green cybers. It didn't happen in this run, but it's possible. Okay, let's exit. So once again, short and fun map with a very chill MIDI, uh, I enjoyed playing it a lot. I also made a speedrun for UV speed category for this map, so that means just going for the fastest exit with no requirements for kills and secrets. I'll leave the link to it in the description, it may be interesting to see how much it is different from the UV max run. And anyway, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in map 6.